Finally today, as part of homecoming at OSU, we pause to remember those who lost their lives in the parade tragedy one year ago. Retired Regents professor and agricultural research pioneer Marvin Stone and his wife Bonnie were among the four who died. As you're about to hear, even though Marvin Stone may be gone, his life's work and his legacy live on. Uh, the loss of Dr. Stone is something that we still deal with today. His, his name comes up in lectures and, and in talks and, and it, he, he touched so many lives, it's, it's even hard still a year later to, to talk about him without getting really emotional. So um, great, both him and Bonnie, um, greatly missed in this community. I don't know of anything that Dr. Stone had been working on that has been dropped. Everything is in a continuation. Um, from the committees he was on, uh, international committees is on to the work done here at, uh, at OSU. The work he's done with the sensors, one of his last things he, he uh, worked with us on is the production of that small handheld green seeker sensor that really made much, a much more affordable product to put in the producer's hands. Uh, I've been currently working on a, a app so that we can take his sensor that he built plug it into our phones and start downloading data and those things. And so, you know, all of the work he's done ha has not just come to an end. It, it's continuation, it's, it's morphed, and it's, it's really transitioned into um, even greater things. To me, to, to me, the biggest thing, you know, with, with Dr. Stone is, is, is he was rarely going to step up and, and, and ring his own bell. It was... It was actually a, a, a colleague of mine that, that I'd worked with at K-State for many years. He's the one that said to me, he said, there's very few pieces of equipment sold in North America that don't have Marvin Stone's fingerprints on them. All the goals that he always had was to, to better humanity, to better the world. And, and I think that's everybody's goals that worked with him and what we have is we want to produce something that will better the lives of the people in the community, in the state, in the nation, in the world. So taking this stuff, making food cheaper, making food more sustainably and more efficiently. Pretty much everything I'm working on was influenced by him in, in, in one way or another. But, uh, but primarily I would just look at, you know, any piece of agricultural equipment basically that has electronics on it right now was influenced by uh, his relationship with industry and, and the work that he did to, uh, to establish that communication protocol. How does a planter talk to a tractor? You know, how does a combine engine talk to the rest of the combine? And, and that whole communication protocol that happens electronically now, all of that has Marvin Stone's fingerprints all over it.